Marks one year since a gunman walked into the Greenwood Park Mall and opened fire, taking three lives. Eli Dickin, an armed bystander, pulled his own gun and quickly shot and killed the shooter from 40 yards away. Tonight, our Karen Campbell takes a look back. At 4.54 p.m. on July 17, 2022, a shooter would enter Greenwood Park Mall with the intent to kill. He walks directly to the food court restroom. Police say he spends the next hour and two minutes there. At 5.56, he comes out shooting, first killing 30-year-old Victor Gomez. He then points his rifle into the food court where Pedro and Rosa Pineda were eating dinner and shot both Rosa and Pedro. The couple were natives of El Salvador. They left behind eight children and several grandchildren. The shooter would fire more shots, injuring a woman in the leg. A bullet fragment injured a 12-year-old girl in her back. An unimaginable fear. 911, what's the location of the emergency? <laughs> Where in the mall are they? They fought the food court. There's three people dead. And everybody started getting up and running. Um, I got knocked down and um, separated from two of my kids. So, yeah, it was pretty scary. Police say many more would have died if it weren't for the quick actions of this man, Elijah Dickin. He drew his own gun and fired 10 rounds, striking the shooter eight times. The shooter tried to go back to the bathroom, but collapsed and died. I swear, I felt the presence of God in Eli that day. We would not be alive if it weren't for Eli. Like there is no doubt in my mind that Elijah Dickens saved many, many lives that night, and he is a true hero. There's always going to be people that will do evil out there. Sometimes all we can hope for is and Elijah Dickin to be in the right place at the right time. Karen Campbell, 13 News.